fellow woodchopperoos, Chad here. Hey, in today's episode, I want to talk to you about bead moldings. Now, bead molding is one of the easiest forms of molding that you can make, and it can be used in many different places on a piece of furniture. But you're probably asking yourself, why make a bead molding? Well, that's a good question. A good question indeed. So the Encyclopedia of Furniture describes the molding as a shape profile applied to a continuous member to emphasize the difference in planes or to provide decorative bands of light and shade. Well, that's just a fancy way of saying, it's pretty. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of some bead molding. So here's a bead molding applied to the edge of this cabinet door. There's also a double bead molding applied to the inside. Another example can be seen on this old 1920 style radio cabinet. At closer examination, you can see there's several bead moldings on this piece. Okay, so you get the idea. Uh -huh. You can use a bead molding almost anywhere on a piece of furniture. The tabletop, the legs, the apron. But now let's take a look at different ways on how to make one. Probably the fastest and easiest way to make your bead molding, well that's with some sort of handheld router or the router table. Do keep in mind though that sometimes these router bits get a little pricey. Now if you're buying a bit for your handheld router, it's important that you buy one with a bearing guide on it. Now before we use any power equipment, I'd like to take a little reminder from our friend, Safety Dan. And now, staying safe with Safety Dan. Oh hey. Always make sure you wear your hearing protection and your safety goggles. This moment was brought to you by Staying Safe with Safety Dan. Using the router is probably the quickest and fastest way to make your bead molding, but it's not the only method. Now a cheaper way this could be done is by using your table saw and a dowel rod. Now I'm using a stacked dado set in mine, you could do yours with just a regular saw blade though. The groove should be the exact width of what the dowel rod is. So once you're done making your cut on the board, you just simply drop your dowel rod in. It makes a nice bead molding. And what I really like about this feature with the table saw is you can put the bead anywhere you want on the board. And for those of you who are the nostalgic type, hand planes can do the job and have been doing so for hundreds of years. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, the Stanley 45 combination plane came with a variety of different blades. Even older is a wooden bead plane, but it only came with one blade. But of course my favorite is the paper plane. However, it isn't very good on wood. At first, when using a wooden hand plane, it can be tricky and kind of slower, but in the end it gives a real rewarding feeling once you're done. And finally, probably the cheapest way to make your bead molding is a screw and just a scrap of wood. Using a flathead screw, screw it in until you get the width of the desired bead that you want. Then simply use it as you would as if it was a marking gauge. Make sure that the slot of the screw is what's doing the cutting. Well, okay. It's not the best method, but it is considered the poor man's way. Thank you, kind sir. Aren't you the guy from Woodchap in time? Um, yes I am. That's what I thought. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hey, go to woodchopintime.com for more great videos and stuff. Or you can follow me on facebook.com forward slash woodchopintime. Well, there's only one more thing left for me to do. It's time for me to dance.